Let's kick it off here with a fun one. Washington versus mm -hmm. Iowa here. And yes, that record on the screen is accurate. 61.1% right now for Mr. Wine Time Sports. Up 6.45 units. Making you money here on a Wednesday. Beautiful stuff, Wine Time. Let's talk about Iowa and Washington here as I have to start clicking off. I feel like Jimmy I have tabs on tabs, just <laughs> hockey, college, everything right now. So this is very funny to see here this turn. Market in this game, we'll start there. 43% of the bets, 67% of the money on Washington here. Coming off an exciting victory last week. We were on them. Money lines against Michigan. It got sweaty there a little bit. But we we were fine. The purple rain came down and we were all good. This opened up at two and a half. Has basically stayed there the entire time. It did bump up to a three at one point for Iowa. And there are still some threes out there. Uh, bookmaker showing a three here as well. Very interesting game here for us, Wine Time Sports. Totals-wise, let's touch on that here real quick here as I have to bring up another tab to bring up all the totals here. But I'm excited to see a, an Iowa offense that I have not watched this year, but I know can fly now apparently, which is funny. 84% of the bets, 87% of the money on the over in this game here so very overwhelming over money here wine time what do you think about this matchup i'm excited to hear your breakdown yeah it's gonna be an exciting uh big 10 matchup you know washington heading over to iowa man um you know a very very tough place to play and iowa coming off a you know a big loss you know we were on them last week uh it was one of the losses uh, that we gave out on the show uh you know i believe they lost the game by 28 they didn't score a touchdown until the last couple of minutes of the game I mean, but I think we could all agree uh, that Ohio State defense is elite. We talked about that on the show. Um, really good against the run. Their guys were getting to the uh, quarterback, doing everything they should. Um, but, yeah, with that being said, man, uh, Coach Kirk's going to have to have a big bounce back spot right here against Washington. Man, Jose, this Washington team could be 6 No, It's crazy. Sitting here at 4-2, two, two of their losses. They outgained their opponents uh, in yardage. It was just the flags, and they couldn't capitalize in the red zone. Um, Washington defense, man, um, you know, they brought in Coach Belichick. Um, you know, they're – Defense is only averaging 15.2 uh, points per game against them. Um, 11th in the nation. Washington, man, not really known for having a super great defense. It was that elite offense last year that pretty much took them all the way. Um, you know, Will Rogers, Will Rogers is really doing everything they're asking him to do right now. Nothing too crazy. They're running the ball with Jonah Coleman, who we already, uh, already talked about, one of the better running backs in the Big Ten and in the nation. Then you look at Iowa on the other side, man. The Russian attack is elite. This kid, Caleb Johnson, we talked about him last week. We've been talking about him every week. Um, in my opinion, this is a top three running back in college football. Um, he's going to go in the second round this year's draft. This guy's going off. You know, he had 16 carries for, I believe, just a bit under 90 yards against Ohio State, which was very impressive. They went down early. They couldn't really run the ball, and they forced K to throw, um, which is exactly what we didn't want them to do. Um, and Washington, man, uh, against the quarterback, they're giving up only just a 40% completion rate, um, 4.5 yards pass attempt. It's top 10 in the nation, both of them. Defense is elite. Um, you know, you would think I'm going to go to the under on this spot. Two teams that love to run the ball. Two teams that are playing really good defense right now. Iowa, really good in the red zone, as always on defense. They hold their opponents up there most of the time. They could against Ohio State, but I don't think there's going to be too many defenses out there that can stop Ohio State's offense. Um, with that being said, we're on Iowa in this spot. I think it's a big bounce back spot for Coach Kirk. You know, it's a shorter number. I got minus 140. You could probably get a better number right now um, at about minus 135, maybe minus 138, but it's around that number. Get in on Iowa in this spot, guys. It's a big bounce back spot for them. Washington coming off a huge home win against a top 10 team. You know, a game that was close until probably about six or seven minutes left in the game. Um, you know, I was I was getting a little scared there for a minute. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Michigan bringing yeah. in that new Michigan bringing in that new quarterback really switched a lot of things up. Um, I was not expecting that. I thought Orgy was gonna play the whole game. Um, great game plan by Michigan to even stay in that game, honestly. Um, I, I'm really high on both these teams, Jose, honestly. Um, I'm on Iowa's win total this season. Um, I think they really need to get this one in order to do that. And for Big Ten play, they need this win. Um, so um, give me Iowa on the money line. I think Caleb Johnson's going to have a big game uh, at the running back position. And I think they're going to be able to hold Washington in the red zone on those fourth and shorts. 
um, because of that red zone defense and they're going to have to hold them to field goals. But at the same time, Washington's missing field goals. Um, they're not making their field goals. So, um, yeah, give me Iowa. I think they're going to get this game. Okay, Iowa for you here. And, of course, follow Wine Time on Twitter at Wine Time Sports. You'll see these plays get tweeted out. And a lot of good stuff, and you'll get them early. So Iowa money line for you guys here. Uh, wine time, your shirt looks great, by the way. Wine. Time. And I just your read shirt. that comment. <laughs> your shirt. Your shirt shots of Red Mose. <laughs> yeah, shots of Red Mose. Shots of Nasty Nate. You say he looks like you look like you're going to First Communion. It looks great. <laughs> it looks great. Everything's going great. 